it, it's such a simple thing to do to pay attention and you know not paying attention it's changed our lives forever. Craig Clark is remembering the sad day back in 2015. Well, they were sitting still on the interstate when a semi-truck rear-ended them at 70 miles per hour, never hit the brakes, never swerved, ran over Emily's car, hit the car in front of her with her uh, fellow nursing students, and then hit a semi in front of them. The Clarks say their daughter Emily and four other Georgia Southern nursing students lost their lives that day, and it was all the result of a distracted semi truck driver. He has offered nothing as to why. He, he, he did at one point say that he thought they were a bump in the road. So he was clearly distracted if he didn't know that he'd ran over them. Ooh, and we are honored to have Craig and Kathy Clark with us here in our studios. Um, before we talk about the hands-free law, tell us about your beautiful daughter, Emily. You've got her picture right here, Kathy. Can you hold it up for us? As you said, she was a nursing student, Georgia Southern. A dream of hers? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She was just so, um, so excited to be accepted into the nursing program at Georgia Southern. And, um, and she was just... Um, a beautiful, loving soul. She just loved everybody. Absolutely beautiful. You can put it down and, oh my gosh, I just, I know it's tough for you, Dad, when you look at this and, and still hear that people are distracted behind the wheel. It, it's uh, tough and you just want to reach out and just shake them and say, you know, um, this can change your life, it can change others' lives, and just a uh, heartbeat and nobody ever thinks it's going to happen to them. Uh, we never thought we would be here. What do you remember about that call? Um, that was um, it's a parent's night, worst nightmare. Um, at some point you just go numb. Um, you just uh, try to process it as best you can. Um, fortunately for us um, we are well grounded in our faith and, um, you know, we, we turn to God. And, uh, you know, that's how we get through. That's how you get through every day. Um, you know, you, you, um, you try to take what we can out of, you know, what was probably the worst event in our life ever and turn it into something positive, which, you know, we feel like, you know, we've been able to do through the legislation that's come about. Um, so, you know, we're real proud of that. Um, and, you know, our hope and our prayer is that nobody ever has to do this again. Um, you know, we don't want that parent to get the phone call we got. And, you know, we have a younger daughter. And um, so, you know, we, we worry about her with uh, folks out on the road and, you know, looking at their phones and not paying attention. Um, you see it every day on the way home from work. Um, and it's just, um, it's scary. Kathy, it's like Emily is, is going to be a guardian angel for so many, making, one, this legislation possible. Yes. Uh, and two, her story, just, it's amazing. Yes, being able to tell her story um, has made a big difference, especially in the legislation, um, just, to, just to put a face, a reality to something. Now, if I recall, there was another accident on I-16 that same day. Everybody else had stopped, yes. and yep. a big rig driver actually was the one responsible. Have you all, I heard in the story, he didn't know what had happened ahead of him. No, he's, um, he had um, been using his cell phone prior, but he said he didn't know why he didn't stop. There's, we don't know what he was doing at the time. But like I said before, he thought the girls were a bump in the road, so he didn't realize he'd hit them going full speed, and he ran over the top of her. Craig, yeah. what happened? Did he plead it guilty? Um, he did plead guilty, um, and um, he was sentenced. Um, I believe he got five, five years, a uh, year for each girl. Um, so um, not only did it affect our lives, but it also affected his. Um, and, uh, you know, he didn't set out that morning intending on hurting anyone. Uh, he was just doing his job and, uh, you know, just a moment of inattention. and. Um, yeah, well, I would, I would love to know exactly what he was doing, but, you know, he's never said. Your younger daughter, how old is she? Uh, she's uh, 19. 19. 
So she's driving. Yes. How tough is this for you all when she heads out the door? Uh, extremely tough. She's away at school now too, so um, very similar to where Emily was. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's always on the back of your mind. If you could say something as parents out there to folks who are watching and you know are going to jump in the phone with that, jump in the car with that phone in their hand to do that text, what would you say? It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Nothing is that important. And it, it can happen to you mm. when you don't think you think that everything's fine and it'll never happen to you. You hear the sad story, but it can. It happens so quickly. Yes. It, it does, and you know we were. A lot like other folks that, you know, that always happens to somebody else. That's not us until you sit there at night looking at your child on the news. And, uh, you know, that's not supposed to be you. And, you know, we didn't think it would happen to us, but it did. You all are remarkable. Thank you so much for sharing your story, sharing Emily with us. Well, thank you for uh, getting the word out um, and just uh, the awareness. We just need people to be aware. Yes, we do. And we're not done making them aware. Stay with us, Public Affairs on Peach returns, and we're gonna look at efforts to stop teens from being distracted when they drive. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. <laughs>